Hi guys, uh, Christian Mahorn again. Gonna go over the kind of introduction to the flex press. Whenever you guys uh, unpackage it, what you know you're gonna do to run a case through. So the first thing when you unpackage it, you're gonna need to hook it up to a regular electrical outlet. 110 is fine. Um, you're also gonna hook it up to compressed air. Um, I'd like to see at least 100 psi. A uh, little more is not gonna hurt. I think I have mine at about 115. We'll take a look at that in a second. But sometimes other pieces of equipment can steal a little air from the machine at times. So having a little bit more, um, it's not going to hurt anything. So the first thing you're going to do um, is turn the machine on on the side. It's just a little toggle. And uh, the machine will boot up. And it'll show standby. All right, so the STBY is standby. If you look down on the control buttons, you have on and standby. All right. Once you've turned it on, it's booted up. Hit your on button, on standby button. All right, and that's going to give you your menu. If you want to put it back on standby, same button, back on to standby. So we have our main menu up. We have run store profiles, run last profile, edit user profile, edit user settings. So what we're going to do is run store profiles. All of your flex presses when you receive them come with Duracetal, Duraflex, VisiClear, already pre-programmed. All the times, temps, everything's in there. So let's say we're going to do a Duraflex. Hit enter. Now, if ever you choose anything and you're like, oh shoot, I, I meant Duracetal, you can always hit the back button and it'll take you right back to the start again. So store profiles, Duraflex, hit enter. At that point, you hit start, you can see it says heating, the fan will kick on, keep the electronics cool, and what it's doing at this point is getting the machine ready. All right guys, um, as you can see, the machine's up to top temperature, it's uh, beeping at us. So if you're working on a case, it's not quite ready yet, you're still, it's still a little hot or you're drying it out or whatever the case might be, um, and this is annoying, you can always hit the arrow down button and everything stays the same it's still ready to go it just kind of keeps it quiet so it's not so annoying so now um, we're going to read here load cartridge secure flask then press start it's exactly what you're going to do so we're going to take our cartridge first thing we do with the scalpel blade is there's an indent all right so you can see the circular indent on some of the tubes you may come across that may be on the bottom um, just wherever that indent is take your scalpel blade and just slice an X this machine injects vertically so the material is just gonna melt once it goes into the machine it's just gonna settle down you're gonna have a jar of uh, tube lubricant now it looks kinda like a Vaseline but it's uh, not it's a high heat silicone just need a nice thin coat just so the outer shell is slippery this is so when it injects and crushes that tube, it slides up the walls of the flask easily. All right, so then we're gonna do exactly what the machine says. Load cartridge, um, load our tube. We're gonna take our flask. We wanna center our flask uh, using the hold down bracket. Make sure that you have about the same amount of gap on either side of the hold down bracket. That means it's centered this way. And then if you look down on top of the flask, you want to see the same amount of flask showing on either side. Then you'll take your hold down bracket nuts. And these don't have to be super tight, all right? Just a little tight. There's going to be a gap there. That's fine, as long as it's secure. And then we'll go back down to here. And we're gonna do what it says. We loaded the cartridge, we secure the flask, we then press start. When we hit start, it's gonna to start to count down. All right, once it counts down, it's going to inject, um, hold all on its own, and then beep at us when it's done. All right, so um, once the machine's done, um, it's going to ask you to hit extend. I, I, I do, this isn't a real case, so I don't have that. Um, and all you'll do is you'll unbolt the hold down bracket. 
and then you'll hit the extend button. It's going to say, uh, do you want to extend? Hit yes, hit enter. And it'll actually pop it right up into your hand. And you can take that and set it aside. I hope uh, once you unpackage your Flex Press and want to run your fir first case, this gives you, uh, you know, all the information you need to get started. Uh, this is Chris Schermelhorn. Thanks a lot.